Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock, where it's a review of the movie Carnosaur. And some of you, most of you, well probably some of you, may know this movie as a slight ripoff of Jurassic Park. And, um, and this movie was pretty much considered a low-budget version of Jurassic Park. Uh, slightly different story though, but... But I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I really hated Jurassic Park. In fact, I've hated all the Jurassic Park movies. Carnosaur was tolerable, but still... <sighs> yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> it's the story of a scientist <laughs> named, named uh, Dr. Tiptree who is trying to bring dinosaurs back to life. And what you pretty much see as some some really lousy looking dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, I I I didn't I didn't know what to think of these dinosaurs. Honestly, uh, they they look like they look like people in suits or or something, you know. Uh, but this movie th this movie was supposed to try to compete with Jurassic Park and. Yeah, guess which one won that battle. Anyway, our mad scientist uh, wants to, at some point in the movie, wants to try to breed uh, dinosaur DNA and put it into women to where they will give birth to dinosaurs and try to wipe out humanity. And how that makes any sense, I have no friggin' clue. <sighs> This movie spawned two official sequels and two spin-offs or somewhat like sequels. And the movie stars I think she won an Academy Award or she might have been nominated for an Academy Award, uh, Diane Diane Lane, Diane Ladd, sorry. <laughs> uh, you know it's weird. I've I've only I have not known Diane Ladd from from much except Alice, the TV show, when she was on it for maybe like what half a season. Um, but it's weird to see somebody who has who has who has done a lot of uh, a lot of movies, which which has gotten her uh, high award nominations to doing Carnosaur, which was also uh, considered, I believe, it was uh, Roger Ebert's worst movie of '95. Although Cisco liked it, but. Cisco likes a lot of weird things. Anyway, special effects in this movie, not special. Nothing really worth looking at. Uh, so, yeah. The, the, the whole plot makes no sense. The mad scientist doctor, whatever she's supposed to be, wants to try and bring dinosaurs back into this world. The natural childbirth way in that scene was pretty weird. Um, yeah, so... Anyway... Towards the end of the movie, pretty much everybody died. <laughs> yeah, the, and again, the movie spawned two official sequels and two other films that were spin-offs or something like that. And uh, yeah, the rest of the series did not get very good reviews. And after this one, I did not want to watch anymore. Sadly, I I tried watching Jurassic Park two, hated it. I tried watching Jurassic Park three, hated it even more. So. Yeah, so you have Carnosaur or Jurassic Park. I don't know which one you could torch me more with, but there you guys have it. Oh, good Lord. What can I tell you guys? But this movie was was pretty doggone bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really, really sorry, guys. I didn't have any music playing in the background, but uh, the obvious choice would have been, of course, Weird Al's Jurassic Park. But unfortunately, uh, you know, I think it's a registered trademark song, and uh, so can't really play it in the background. But but I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. And if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. And if you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that 
When you saw it, afterwards you thought, I know I've seen that movie somewhere before. Send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you so very much for watching. And until next time, for Doc Schluck, stay strong and rock on. That really blows. I couldn't, couldn't get a song for this, but... Well, maybe next time I'll, I'll come up with something. Hopefully it's come up with something really, really good.